Jurassic World Dominion has given us a lot. We are flooded with an emotional reunion and a painful reminder that the series has come to an end. But with all that comes amazing stories that even some of the original cast members of Jurassic Park get to spill the beans about. We wonder what it would have been like to have that much star power on set. Number 1. This one's been talked about for a long time, and what a legendary reunion it was. Jeff Goldblum, Laura Dern, and Sam Neill came together to make one awesome end to the franchise. We all are really happy it happened, but imagine how the Jurassic World cast felt working alongside them. Mama Duarte was in a loop over being in a scene with Jeff that it felt super bizarre to him. <laughs> What's going on here? It was the most bizarre feeling I ever had. And as filming came to an end, let's just say the entire cast's dreams came true, getting to befriend them. As for how the original trio was feeling about their return, well, their emotions almost got the best of them. There was something very nostalgic about being back together. Their first scene was driving a Jeep down a dirt road, and as soon as director Colin Trevorrow yelled, Cut! Cut! the crew could not contain themselves. We'd like to say we'd keep our cool on set for this moment, but nope, we wouldn't have lasted a second seeing Goldblum in his jacket again. Number 2. The original Jurassic Park franchise ushered in a whole new spectacle with animatronics. Steven Spielberg had a vision, and it was going to be done perfectly for the film. As for the cast in Jurassic World, they may have had a rough time with them. Well. Let's clarify, it wasn't so much the animatronics, but the CGI dinosaurs causing confusion. Precision and eye movements were key in selling the effect. It's a baby one! And combine that with blocking makes for a pretty chaotic experience. But how do they really sell those realistic dinos? According to Bryce Dallas Howard, Looks like Steven Spielberg apparently filmed his own dogs fighting and sent it to Colin as a reference. A little strange way to get the movements they want, but hey, it looks like the doggos were okay in the end. We really just can't get over DeWanda Wise's reaction to it though. Number 3. Even a big action star like Chris Pratt takes a hard fall from time to time, but this one just really solidified our fear of horseback riding. It looks to us like this fall was supposed to happen in the final film, but doesn't mean it didn't hurt. Though, Chris can still do it, and gets right back on his saddle. Number 4. DeWanda Wise had a very specific idea for her character's hairstyle, braids. And let's just say, when it came time for her big hero moment, a lot of people took note of it. It wouldn't be an adventure blockbuster without someone saving someone from drowning. And DeWise got the great pleasure of saving Chris on this one. You willing to risk your life for people you never met? This moment was very emotional for her. She described getting the braids, explaining, The experience of getting them was black womanhood at its finest. It was, as it is, a deeply fulfilling spiritual ritual, a precious thing. It just felt like having family there with me in the process. Number 5. Chris Pratt's got a lot of great ideas, but trying to persuade Bryce Dallas Howard to jump out of a plane? Not the best one. The last day! It'd be good for the movie. No. Chris was really feeling the Tom Cruise Daredevil vibe on set for a scene in which Bryce's character was supposed to dive out of a plane. But did she give in to Chris's wishes? She gave that request a big heck no. Filmmakers were definitely not on board either. There's really not a lot of actors other than Tom that really put themselves in danger for a film. Number 6. Who loves a classic dad joke? No? Well, Chris Pratt literally embodies one through his flexibility sessions on set. He's got to stay limber to get away from the dinos. I just ran 65 miles an hour. But does he have to be so extra about it? Can't tear those hamstrings. Well, since Bryce sees him as the older brother on set, of course he's got to live up to those extra vibes. Number 7. Wait, no more heels? You all should know by now what we're talking about. You know, all that media chaos surrounding Howard running away from dinosaurs like a boss. As much as we loved seeing this, she was just over it after the first one. It was way harder than you would ever think. She was indeed asked to wear them for Dominion, but she made it very apparent she was not dealing with the sore feet again. Although, she was a little tempted to outheal her co-star Chris Pratt, who, unbeknownst to us, can rock heels better than a lot of us ever could. Number 8. Talk about cramming. We all know the feeling of cramming for a last minute assignment, or just putting off cleaning our rooms. But DeWanda Wise really pushed that whole idea super close. 
After she was casted for the role of Kayla Watts, she thought to herself, I should probably look into the whole Jurassic World thing. She not only hadn't read the books, she didn't even see the films. And she probably needed to get a whole feel of the overall story, so she did all of that. She literally crammed all five films and read every single book to prepare for her new role. We completely understand. We'd probably feel more motivated too if we were working alongside such a legendary cast. Number 9. Step aside, Howard. You've got some cackling competition now. If you've watched any of the bloopers of the Jurassic World franchise, you'd know she's got quite the cackle on set. But now, Dewanda joins the group and the cackle duo is formed. We have a very similar very laugh. Similar. Her laugh is so similar to Bryce's that Wise's own husband mistakenly thought Howard's laugh was his own wife's. Oh, my wife. Not to mention, both of the leading ladies are notorious for corpsing during their scenes, so they're just two of a kind. Number 10. We don't blame the Wise to Wanda here. Stick shifting is just way too hard. She had such a rough time driving the Jeep on terrain that her stunt double skills were put to work. Wise actually blames the vehicle of choice for her inability to drive it. But come on, there's no shame in admitting you can't drive a stick shift. Number 11. We've all heard the idea of directors picking certain cast members without auditions. But for every cast member in a film? Pretty unheard of. Colin Trevorrow reportedly did not require an audition for his cast. He just chose them out of confidence in their earlier works. That's a lot of faith to be had in actors. Jeff Goldblum, of all people, even had to audition for Spielberg for Jurassic Park. Number 12. So the end may not be coming after all. Jeff had a lot to say regarding future Jurassic projects, and one he would not expand upon was the fact that it may not be ending so soon. So there may be more things to the book, I don't know. Let's hope this isn't another classic Goldblum joke, because it would mean so much to so many fans to keep this franchise going. Number 13. This film, like many, was filmed during the pandemic, and unlike many other productions during the time, they just kept at it. Filmmakers had absolutely no clue what was to come, but all they could do was improvise in the moment. It was, it was scary, and we were making a movie about that at the same time. They decided it was best to have the cast and crew live together during the shoot, taking breaks throughout their week to bond and work on lines. Not such a bad time to be cooped up with such an amazing cast. The real amazing part about their experience was it actually mirrored the story they were filming. The world hung in the balance, and all there was to get us through the peak was hope. Number 14. Road trips aren't usually productive. For us, all we usually do is hope the next exit has a bathroom. But when director Colin and writer Derek Connolly took a little road trip, they were nothing but productive. They came up with an entire outline of how they wanted Dominion to go, and ended up presenting it to the other lead writer, Emily Carmichael. That's just amazing how such a big blockbuster can start on a road trip. Number 15. The time has come to say goodbye. Well, hopefully not. But for the main cast of the Jurassic World franchise, it seems like it may be for them. Bryce Dallas Howard was very emotional leaving behind such a huge cast and story. We just couldn't help but cry with her. So this might not be the end, but it very well looks like the end of an era. We're so glad the franchise was able to end on a good note, and that all the funny stories can be told. Thanks to Jeff Goldblum, maybe we have some hope for more. Or he could have just been messing with us. Wouldn't rule that one out. So what do you think they should do? End it on a good note? Or keep going? Let us know in the comments.